A new report today says cases of Alzheimer's disease among seniors are expected to nearly triple by 2050 to nearly 14 million Americans. Tonight, Wyatt Andrews tells us about an experimental drug that's aimed at helping patients before they show symptoms. Helene DeCoste is a patient in this groundbreaking clinical trial, testing whether a drug called solanezumab can slow down or even prevent Alzheimer's disease. No drug has even come close before, but they've never tested patients quite like Helene in quite this way before. She's a perfect patient for this trial. Dr. Risa Sperling is a physician at Harvard University and the project director of what's called the A4 Alzheimer's study. A4 is an ambitious international trial in which 60 hospitals are looking for 1,000 patients like Helene. What is this? Watch. They have to be patients who have no sign of memory loss yet. So what were those three words I asked you to remember? Okay, apple, penny, table. But who also have brain scans suggesting they will get Alzheimer's in the future. Specifically, they have a buildup of what's called amyloid plaque, here seen in red, which doctors believe is what kills off brain cells. The hope in this trial is that the drug will destroy the amyloid before the amyloid destroys the brain. If we can treat the amyloid plaque buildup early enough, we can prevent memory loss. That's really a new way of thinking about Alzheimer's disease. Are you excited about this? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> so this trial for me is game changing. For the first time, I think we have a chance to really change the course of Alzheimer's disease. Still, for these patients, just being in this trial means you've been told you're likely to get this disease. How did you take that news? I think I set myself up to expect the worst. I'm going to do everything I can do to help myself put it off as long as I can. Dr. Sperling and Helene did not know each other before, but they have the same personal reasons for fighting Alzheimer's. Dr. Sperling lost her grandfather to Alzheimer's. Helene has watched her sister, who has the disease, and her mother, who died because of it, both suffer anguishing declines. I just couldn't deal with the your mother doesn't know who you are. And now your sister. My sister now has it, and she's only six years older than I am. I used to say to my kids that if I get this disease, shoot me, because it's horrible to watch someone go through it. An important study released today from the Mayo Clinic identifies a different toxic protein called tau as the likely cause of Alzheimer's. Scott, most researchers believe that tau and amyloid are connected, and the A4 study has now been expanded to track the buildup of both in the brains of these patients. Wyatt Andrews in Washington. Wyatt, thanks very much.